Welcome to our demo on how to set up Amazon to work with Mailware Mail Multi-Channel Manager. First, access your Amazon account. You'll need to have one set up already. If you do not, you can go to Amazon and do that. Once you're at your Amazon account, log in normally. And then on the screen that opens, click the arrow next to orders, choose order reports, click edit, and you're going to schedule your download for your orders. Now keep in mind that this is scheduled uh, at Pacific time, so we'll leave it at the default of 11 p.m. After you've submitted that, you can then open Mailware and set up your preferences. Click on Tools, choose Preferences, and go to the Channels tab. Select Amazon on the right, and click Add to create a new account. It's going to have any name you like. And put in your email and password, just like you use on Seller Central. Other information is optional. And then also specify that you would like to do a product upload. Schedule your shipping confirmation. This is the order status for your customers to see. And you can schedule a time here. This is military time or 24-hour clock. So 2300 would be 11 PM. You can also schedule an order download time. Now keep in mind that this time is whatever is local to you. So in our case, that's Mountain. Amazon is Pacific. You want to schedule your download time after your report time that you scheduled on the previous screen so that there's orders to be retrieved at that time. You can also select an operator ID to associate with the account. We have one set up called Amazon Store. I'll show you how to set that up for yourself in a moment. When you're done, click OK. Make sure this checkbox is selected for Show a Tab. Click OK to close the Preferences screen. Then you can go to the inventory screen, and for any product, you'll have an Amazon tab. Click that tab, and within it, you can specify new listings. We have a few samples set up, but they all work the same way. You click Add Listing. You can use the Mailware SKU, or you can set up your own. Uh, if you want to create your own, just uncheck the box and type it. And then enter your ASIN number on Amazon. This needs to be assigned by Amazon, so it needs to be an existing product. Any number would do for testing, but it won't upload. So make sure you have a true Amazon number, and we'll show you ours in a moment. You can also specify if you have a different lead time to ship, because Amazon usually requires two-day shipping. So if you need a little extra time, you can specify it. You can specify as well when this item will be available on the web, so if you don't want to upload it immediately. The other, other options should be self-explanatory. You can place the item on sale. You can allow gift, etc. Save the listing, and it will become a listing in your group. These will all upload to Amazon at the scheduled time. Now we have one preset up that we'll show you. After your upload has been created, you can open that up in a browser and see it on the Amazon store the way it will actually appear to your customers. And this is our Mailware multi-channel manager disk. After you've set up, you can see your orders when they download. Again, these will happen automatically, so we're expecting ours around 11 o'clock our time. So that's about two hours after PS or one hour after PST time when it came from Amazon. And an order will appear in the order list normally. You can see an order, the information about it, etc., right here. You can also see the operator ID. Now, in the case of an Amazon order, which this one is not, you would have the operator ID set up for that order. Set up your own operator ID, which you can go back and put in those preferences later. Click Setup. Go to Operators and Security. Click Add. And to specify a number that you would like for it and a name. This could be Amazon Orders, Amazon Stores, whatever you like. Because you don't really need access for this as a system administrator, etc., you want to leave everything set to None. It's just an indicator that that's an Amazon order. Thank you for watching this session of our tutorials. If you have any questions, please visit us at www.mailware.com.